our unit, we were approaching a small village named Badvan on the north side of a little river that isolated this village against the, the bottom of a mountain. I remember looking over my left shoulder up the river valley and uh, thinking how much it looked like home. And as I turned my head back forward, everything went black. When I lost my sight, snowboard is just one of many things that I thought I'd never be able to do again. And I get this email about, come to Breckenridge and come snowboarding. I'm like, wait, you can do that? It's a great bridge from an opportunity to do something that someone thought they would never be able to do post-injury. And it's really humbling as an instructor to see a student get out there and have an opportunity to smile, to do what they've loved. But to see Mike get out there and snowboard independently, he's a, not a beginner snowboarder. He's working towards advanced runs. He's talking about bowl snowboarding today. I was like, if that's something you want to do, we'll make it happen because there's nothing holding you back. The sky is the limit. I have young kids, six, three, and two. And you know, my passion for the sport has carried over to them and they see how much I love it and they've all been wanting to try it. And so that's something that's, that's really important to me because you can't control the cards you're dealt. You can decide to roll over and quit or you can stand up and you can do your absolute best. That's one of the things that I want them to learn from me. Every time that voice goes off and says, I don't, you can't do that. I want them to think about what I've done and I want them to think twice about that. And be like, you know what? It might be hard, it might be difficult, but I can do this. Give everything your all and regardless of what direction life takes you, just be the best person that you can be.